So, back to Fontwell for our last race of the day. Day one, week nine, is a two-mile four. Grade two hurdle. So, fall of the judge for Joshua Sutherland. Cat iron for Liam Van Rensburg. Senshi reform for Vinnie Gerard. Darren Thompson's ex-adventure. Raging Thunder for Josh Sutherland. Liam Van Rensburg's Apache drums. Boom, 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 boom. Kingdom come for Daniel French. David Robertson's Mafal Remo. National card also. National guard also for Daniel French. Vinnie Gerard's Pompey closer. Marty Liedem's Erienne. David Hooley's Beach Breeze, Craig Beckler's Big Penny, Punchball Racing's Dodgy Mistress again, and David Hooley's last word bring up just 15. There have been some nice fields these last three races here at Fontwell. Star has gone them away for the national spirit. Great two hurdle. They start in front of the grandstand and the winning post. Have 12 flights to take. It's quite a tight course here, Fontwell. Those ones that have gone a little bit wide will be effective as they get to the first. We'll skip over that. We're being led by Mafal Remo. One of our two Scottish trainers, Mr. Robertson. Oh no, three now. Jimmy Murray's come back. So we've got our three Scots trainers. Jim Murray, Mr. Robertson, and obviously our hard worker, Alex Cherry. But it's a Mafal Remo that leads by about five to Ariane of Martin Liedems and then Kingdom Come and Beach Breeze. A little bit wider of that is Raging Thunder, then Senshi Reform. Cat Iron up against the Rao. Side of that is Last Word. Widest of all of that is Fall of the Judge. Apache Drums just on the inside of that. And then you've got National Guard and Big Penny over towards the Rao. Pompey Chaser and the Green Silks going over that one. And then just X Adventure and the Dodgy Mistress of Great Clutterbucks. So, Mafal Remo leads by four to Kingdom Come and Raging Thunder and Ariane. Senshi Reform, Beach Breeze, Cat Iron a little bit wider, along with Stablemate Apache Drums. Widest of all is Fall of the Judge for Josh Sutherland. One that made a little peck on landing there was Dodgy Mistress, not too much of a mistake. Do I just tap on to the end of the pack? They go over that one. Mafal Remo was a little bit slow and his lead's down to just a couple of lengths now from Kingdom Come Beach Breeze and Ariane. Fall of the judges there. That's Raging Thunder. Fall of the judges are the one really out wide, I think. And then we've got Beach Breeze. Cat Iron and Apache Drums for Leon van Rensburg. Ooh! Guess what that is, Leon? Did you find any over the weekend? Anyway, Mafal Rebo, that's for a race runner's, that's a bit of a race runner's private joke. But anyway, it's Mafal Remo that leads by a couple to Kingdom Come and Cat Iron. Tight up against the Rowl is Ariane for Martin Leedham as they go over the seventh. They've got another five flights to take and just over a mile to travel. It's Mafal Remo, been there since the beginning. Got a full length advantage from Kingdom Come and Ariane up against the Rowl. Then the two David Hooley horses, Beach Breeze and Last Word. Go over the eighth. A little slow over it again, the lead up. Advantage is down to three now as Kingdom Come moves into second in his own from Ariane, Beach Breeze, and Last Word. Then in Cat Iron and Apache Drums. In between those is National Guard mid pack. Raging Thunder. Widest of all is this Fall of the Judge. As they approach the next, and it's Mafel Rima. Goes over the ninth. Fall from home. Still got a two length advantage from Beach Breeze and Last Word Kingdom Come. Apache Drums moving well on the outside under a little bit of pressure now. His Pompey Closer he comes off the bitch and also trying to push through his Raging Thunder. But Mafal Remo as they swing left handed now as they a line up to approach the final home straight. Four furlongs to go and it's Mafel Remo from Beach Breeze and Pompey Closer. Arian up against the Ralph travelling well. The Green Silks of Pompey Closer is not closing. Also last word trying to close the gap as they go over the tenth. We're just two to take and it's Mafel Remo. Going to be put under pressure now by Arian. Mafel Remo Arian. Big Penny last word. Cow on a mistake by the both leaders has allowed Big Penny to shoot through and it's Big Penny for Craig Beck with inside the quarter mile now. Leads from Mafel 
well really low, trying to pick up again cat iron on the wide outside Ariane and beach breeze but big penny holding them all off as we come down to the final third on one to take it's big breeze from Ariane, beach breeze mafo Reno. Kingdom Come, Big Penny, not Big Breeze. A half a furlong to run. He gets over the last. Kingdom Come trying to close the gap. Beach Breeze, but it is another win for Craig Beckwith. Takes the National Spirit Hurdle with Big Penny. National Guard in second. I think there Kingdom Come might have got up. But a good win there for Craig Beckwith. Certainly a double on the day. He may well have won some earlier races. Big win there. Wins by three. Going away from the field there. National Guard for Daniel French was second. Beach Breeze for David Hooley was third. Kingdom Come for Daniel French was fourth. An ex-adventure for Darren Thompson. Didn't get much of a shout-out. Got up for fifth. We'll see you tomorrow on day two.